The Biden administration is working with Facebook to flag posts that spread disinformation about COVID-19, but critics say the act infringes on free speech. Madeline Rivera in Washington with reaction to the initiative. In his first formal advisory, Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy denounces health misinformation, particularly about COVID-19, as a serious threat to public health. Two thirds of people who are not vaccinated either believe common myths about the COVID-19 vaccine or think some of those myths might be true. Murthy now calling on tech companies like Facebook, YouTube and Twitter to step up when it comes to monitoring misleading content. The White House adding that they've increased uh, disinformation research and tracking uh, within the Surgeon General's office. We're flagging problematic posts for Facebook uh, that spread disinformation. Many Republicans are sounding the alarms, saying the coordination between the government and a private company like Facebook is problematic and even teeters on censorship. To have these monopoly companies acting in concert with the government to say, you can say this, you can't say that, we're going to decide, that is just antithetical to the First Amendment of the United States. Facebook says in response to the administration's disinformation campaign, we permanently ban pages, groups, and accounts that repeatedly break our rules on COVID misinfo, and this includes more than a dozen pages, groups, and accounts from some of the individuals referenced in the press briefing. The Surgeon General warning comes as vaccination rates continue to drop nationwide. Some places like L.A. County now reinstating mask mandates as COVID-19 cases rise.